All right, so the other day we talked about Hebrews 11.6. It says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Because we must believe that he is, and he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We're talking about that part of diligently seeking after him. And then in John chapter 4, I believe it is, Jesus says that the religious leaders of the day, they were searching the scriptures. They were studying the scriptures diligently. But they were still missing it because they weren't coming to him to receive this life, this Zoe life, this eternal life that he has. And then that got me thinking about it. There's a verse in 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 5, where it's King Uzzah, 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 Uzziah. I forget how you say his name. And it says this, as long he sought that he sought God during the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God gave him success. As long as he sought the Lord, God gave him success. And so we see here, God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Jesus says some people are making the mistake of diligently studying the scriptures, but not coming to him. So ultimately, when it all comes down to it, we've got to come to him. It's good to study the scriptures because those scriptures, he says, testify about him. They can teach us about him. But ultimately, we've got to come to him. He's the source of success. He's the source of life. He's the spring of living water. So we're going to take communion over this today, just asking God to help us to, to get this right, to seek him the way that he desires us to. But let's get started with the daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed, all so that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And we keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more that the eyes of our hearts will be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us, let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us to seek after you the way that you desire. Because that's where success is. That's where the prosperity is is seeking after you. We're going to take communion over this today, and we're just going to be believing that as we break the bread, we're breaking free of any old patterns of just not seeking after God, being overly religious, doing things our own way, being rebellious. And as we take the cup, we're going to believe we're activating 
this new way of living that diligently seeks after God, seeks relationship with him. Now, the Bible tells us we should be examining ourselves before we take communion. I really feel like God's been kind of prompting me that we need to make this a regular part of what we're doing in our daily communion meditations. So I've got a couple questions for us today. Some things we're going to bring to God. I'm going to ask God to reveal to us just any areas where we need to make some adjustments. First one, the Bible talks about if we are walking in the light, we have fellowship with God, fellowship with one another. Is there any area of our relationship with God, relationship with other people, or maybe there's some strain in the relationship, we don't have fellowship, not open communication. The Father is asking for you to reveal any of those areas to us, Lord. Any areas where maybe we're walking in fear or stress, rather than faith and trusting and being confident in you. Areas where we're lacking contentment, maybe we're frustrated, maybe we're jealous, maybe we're whatever it is. Rather than being grateful and being content that we've got you with us, that you love us, that nothing's impossible for you. Father, we're just asking that you would reveal any of those areas to us, that you would help us to make adjustments and corrections. Any areas where we're prioritizing or our priorities are out of order. Maybe prioritizing money and stuff and material things over people. Prioritizing things incorrectly, like getting our work or our family or these types of areas out of order. Just help us to make the adjustments that we need to make, Lord. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, this is my body. Broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We get this opportunity today. To remember. We've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. He was raised up, seated at your right hand in heavenly places, and we've been raised up with him. And so, Father, I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. <clears throat> then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. His blood washes us and cleanses us, gives us a fresh start. Activates this new way of living in our life. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, let's talk about some practical Health and fitness tips. I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. So how are we going to seek the Lord? I think one of the best ways to do it, we keep, I want to keep reminding you of this. Keep going for walks with God. Go for a walk with him every day. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Just go for a walk with him. Walk with him. Talk with him. Pray with him. Meditate on his word as you do that. It makes a big difference. But I hope this is enough for you. Keep remembering the master is with you. He loves you and nothing's impossible for him.